Uh, really don't change it much. Just trying to lock in every play and just knowing that he has arm talent to get the ball anywhere, and he, he does a good job of that. So just locking in every play and being ready for the ball to come your way. Do you guys have to do something maybe with the safeties to kind of play those edges a little bit more? Nah. nah. JC, is there any significance going back to your home state for the first time? Not really. It's just like another game. I'll probably have a few more familiar faces in the um, crowd, but that's about it. How much did Georgia try to recruit you? Not much, a little bit. Why do you think not much? I'm not sure y'all had to ask how smart. <laughs> Having already played against a, a team like Alabama, how much does that prepare you for what you're going to see on Saturday level of talent? Uh, well, every every um, team brings a different thing to the table. You know, Georgia got bigger receivers in Alabama. You know, they they go up and get the ball, and Alabama had more speed on the outside. So it's a different challenge, but it'll be fun. Style wise, how do they kind of fuse sort of spread concepts with the kind of that downhill running stuff? Uh, well, we ain't watched much film on them. You know, this is our first day, but yeah. I was open week for you guys. Do you feel like you accomplished uh, some things that you set out to do? Definitely. It was a lot of hard work, you know, hard practices. Kind of felt like camp, but it was fun. Though. We got out there and got to compete against each other. You know, we usually going to your scout team, so it was fun just to go against the ones and get good on good work. Was there anything that you specifically focused on in, in the bye week? Uh, just the details, my technique, um, getting good thuds, tackling, all the little things. Anything fun? Just going against the ones again, you know, doing good on good work. That was fun. What does it say to you that uh, Coach Muschamp and the defense started going with a little more three, four looks through that Kentucky game? Uh, I guess that's just that, that, that's what's working right now. You know, work for us versus Kentucky. I guess we're just gonna roll with it. You know, I still have the same job, so it doesn't really change much for me. Do you play with a little bit of chip on your shoulder this week because they didn't recruit you very hard, or does that matter? No, nah, that don't matter. You know, I'm at South Carolina now, so. Still got a good opportunity to go against them and Bama and Clemson, all the other good teams, so it don't really matter. The fact that you guys haven't beaten them in a while, does that, does that matter maybe a little bit more? No, nah, it's 2019 Gamecocks versus 2019 Bulldogs. That's all that really matter. When you were growing up, how many people remembered your dad? He was kind of a Falcons killer, and that's a big rivalry from when you played with the Saints. Did, did, did you hear any of that? Did he hear any of that living in Georgia? Yeah, from older, older guys. Like I heard about it a little bit, um, but not much. So how do you feel like the secondary has grown uh, since that Alabama game? It seems like you guys are playing a little bit better down the stretch here. Um, just locking in on the details. You know, we needed a game like that. We went back to the drawing board, and you know that was a humbling game. So just went back to the drawing board, focused on the little things, and hopefully we can keep up a good play through the season. What little things did you necessarily focus on? I think eye control was one of those, and, and Definitely. some other things. Uh, eye control was a big one. That was the biggest one for me personally. Uh, just trying to keep my eyes out the backfield. I'm too worried about trying to make plays. You just got to let them come. It, everything's good for, so far. So, played pro primarily man coverage, I guess, the last few weeks. Is that fair to say? Uh, no, nah, we mix it up. It wasn't really no. It, we mix it up. What do you have to do to defend that slant on the RPO? How do you play that? It's hard. Yeah, you know. it looks hard. <laughs> yeah, when you man a man. Um, like for Alabama, for instance, they had real fast receivers. You know, you got 80 yards of, foot of grass behind you, so you're not really thinking about a slant. But, you know, just got to compete at the line of scrimmage and hopefully come out on top. What's the coaching point on that? What do they tell you to do? Just just good eyes. Um, have good eyes throughout the route. You know, inside releases, it's, it's, it's easy for a DB to look at the quarterback, mm -hmm. see where the ball coming, and you'll, you'll lose sight of your man. And with Tua, you can't do that. And he was putting them right on the money, so. Just working on that. Is there any way to be inside that guy on that slant route, or do you just open up too much on the outside if you do that? Uh, it depends on the coverage, where your help is. Um, when, you, when you man a man with, like I said, a lot of grass behind you, you're really not thinking about giving up a slant. I mean, you think about giving up a bomb. Right. So, right. so you're trying to play the deep ball, but it's, it happens. That's why in, it's so hard to go. Yeah. In that kind of situation, how much run are you thinking, or are you thinking, you know, run it all in that sort of spot? Am I thinking run? Yeah. Nah, nah, not, not lined up man to man. You should be thinking about big bombs down the field. Yeah. Which man have you guys played this year? Oh, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Does your role change at all with this kind of power run game that they have, or is that a job for Jamie or somebody else that's in the middle spot? Uh, more so the safeties and the nickel, but as corners, we really had the same. We're about to pass first, same mindset going into every game. We know we're going to have to uh, tackle though when the ball get on the edges, because those running backs, you miss one play, they gone. You played a lot of nickel last year. How? What was your role when you guys were playing more of those downhill running teams compared to some spread options? Uh, just fitting the run, um, having good hands and good eyes to see, 
see all the blocks and all the schemes coming your way and just watching a lot of film to know know what you're going to get before the ball is snapped. Is it harder going up with a guy your size compared to a 6'8", 310-pound offensive lineman? What, what are the keys to kind of getting off blocks there? Uh, to be honest, it was a little bit easier for me just because, uh, yeah, I, I, I was using my hands real good last year at the nickel position, but, yeah, it's all good. JC, how do you feel you guys have carried the good feelings after the Kentucky win through the bye week and into this week? Uh, well, me personally, I haven't really thought about the Kentucky. That's going over with. You know, we got Georgia coming up next, and that's the only thing we focused on. I mean, it was it felt good to win that game. We needed it, but on to the next week. Did that uh, kind of give you guys a boost going into practices during the bye week? Uh, definitely. We had a good um, confidence going into practice in the bye week and it just helped us have a good good, good practice all throughout the bye week. Georgia throws that back shoulder fight a lot. How do you defend that? Uh, try to get eyes back. You really defend that like based off the beginning of the route at the beginning of the line of scrimmage. You win at the line of scrimmage. It's not really a route you can win, win on downfield. So. How do you win it? I'm um, staying on top of the receiver so you can check back shoulder because if he beats you off the line and you're chasing him, you're not going to see the back shoulder. Him. So if you're chasing him, it's when you're the most vulnerable. To right. So shoulder. it all starts. Most most of the reps with corners and wide receivers, you win at the line of scrimmage or you lose at the line of scrimmage. JC, this offense, South Carolina's offense has done a lot of pin and pull stuff in the run game. I guess how hard is that to defend and kind of what makes that a good run concept for this team? Um, it just puts the stress on, well, I'm a corner, so it puts the stress on us when you see two big guys pulling and then you just you want to run it back. You know, that's that's not a good matchup. So uh, you just got to be able to make a play, but it, it definitely gives the defense a lot of problems, definitely. t Rob said over the bye week, he needs to get those young corners in a little bit more in the second half of the season. Have you seen, what kind of development have you seen from Shiloh and Cam? Uh, Shiloh and Cam, well, Cam, you know, he just, he's gotten way bigger since he got here. That was the main thing he needed to do, get bigger and play more physical. And he's definitely doing that, you know. He has all the cover skills in the world. I and mean, he's athletic, fast, you know, quick and jump. So he can be as good as he want to be. And Shiloh, you know, he's a real hard worker and he'll come up and hit you. So that's what I like about Shiloh. Um, John also coming along, just practicing and getting better every day.